What's up guys, my name is Andre and today I want to show you something real quick. The reason why I don't keep my phone close to my record player when I'm digitizing records and... First of all, let me see if I can trigger this. I've got the, the recorder running. This is the preamp. I bet you can hear the little glitches. So yeah, not only that does it introduce glitching to uh, to the sound, but usually there's like a uh, there's like a chirping that happens because of this. But that's not the worst offender. I'm gonna start playing this record. Watch the uh, the quartz the quartz lamp as I slide this under the record player. And no, it's not rubbing against something in there. The phone is just sitting down there. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens sometimes. It's enough. The, uh, the EMI that my phone generates is enough to disturb the... Uh, to disturb the uh, the drag drive mechanism. This is not a quartz lock machine. So, any kind of interference that happens around this will, uh, first of all, will be audible in the preamp, and it uh, sometimes will make the uh, turntable like skip speed or something. It just goes haywire when this phone is around. So that's one of the reasons why, when I'm listening to music and when I'm did did digitizing a record I I don't keep my phone close because I mean it, it can even be like sitting way over there in the washing machine or it could be in the desk over there because yes I am the, I am the laundry room in the laundry room everyone knows that it causes things to go haywire it's not fun so vintage audio equipment doesn't like phones <laughs> 